morning, class. Good morning, Mrs. Roberts. We have a new student today. She's come all the way from London, England. Please welcome Rosaline. Come on in, darling. Don't be shy. Can you introduce a little bit about yourself? Hello, everyone. I'm Rosaline Waters, but you can call me Rose. That's a nice name, Rose. I hope you can all help her with her studies from now on. Rose, darling, please find your seat. There's an empty one in the back of the class. Thank you, Mrs. Roberts. You're welcome. And now, class, could you open the math textbook on page thirty-three? We'll continue with division. Hi, Rose. I'm James, and I'm Amber. We're so pleased to meet you. You have an English accent too. Are you from the UK? Yeah, we're both English, but we're from Leeds, not London. Our family moved to California three years ago. Oh, are you siblings? That's right. We're twins. That's cool. No wonder you look alike. By the way, do you want to join a tour around the school with us? You're a new student, anyway. Sure, I'd love to. I'm certain that you'll like Saint Paul Elementary School soon. Let's go. Here's our canteen, my favorite place at school. Are you hungry? Our canteen has many types of snacks. I'm craving some chicken sandwiches. Save those sandwiches for lunch, James. I'm going to have some potato chips. Do you want some? No, thanks. My mom has prepared an apple pie for me. Here it is. Oh, that's okay. Shall we move on? Ten minutes later, in front of the sports complex. I can't believe that this school has a swimming pool. My old school didn't have one. You love swimming, don't you? Yes, a lot. I love to be in the water. Then you have to wait for the PE class, or you can swim freely at the pool from 5 p.m. They open the pool for everyone at that time. Really? For free? No, but don't worry. It's a small charge. It's time for the next lesson. Hurry up! Slow down, James. It's Mr. Potter's class. What does Mr. Potter teach, Amber? He teaches science. He's an easygoing person. His lessons are amazing. He shows us many awesome experiments. Lately, he got us a sodium bicarbonate volcano. It was spectacular. Lunchtime at the canteen. Let me introduce you to Brian and Lucy. They are our best friends. It's so nice to meet you. Wow, your English accent is so beautiful, even better than Amber and James. Well, thanks for your compliment. Hey, we're still here. Sorry, I didn't mean anything. Oh, when did you move to Oakland? We've only been here a month. There's a lot to unpack, so I don't have time to explore the city. Where is your new house? 
It's down Orange Street, next to the bookstore. My house is on that street too. Maybe we can hang out at the park nearby sometimes. Amber and James live on the next street. Only Brian's place is pretty far from here. That means I cannot spend time with you often. Don't be sad. We already met each other at school. And you know that we'll go to the children's fairyland. Really? It's my dream to go to that place. Too bad my parents don't have time to take me there. I heard that our school has scheduled for us to go this Sunday. I think the teachers will inform us and our parents soon. Get ready to ask for their permission. Uh, wait a minute. What is children's fairyland? It's like a park with games and stages for children. We can hear some kids our age telling stories or performing. That sounds fun. It is fun. I've been there once, and I always want to visit it one more time. Kids, stop chatting and finish your lunch, please. We're still having lessons in the afternoon. We got it, Mrs. Roberts. What are we going to learn this afternoon? Just a music lesson by Mrs. Collins. We'll get to know more about music notes. Sweet! I love music. After the music session. It's time for you to go home, kids. Wish you all have a good day. Thank you, Mrs. Collins. See you tomorrow, Rose. Goodbye, Lucy. See you later, everyone. Hi, Mum. Hello, sweetie. How was your new school? It's wonderful, Mum. And I've got four new friends. That's great, sweetie. Who are they? I met Amber and James. They're twins. They're English, just like us, Mum, but they're from Leeds. The two others are Lucy and Brian. They're Amber and James's good friends. And Lucy's house is only a couple blocks away from here. Then you can invite her to our house on the weekends. I'm glad that you can make friends so quickly. And Mum, the new school has a swimming pool. James said I could swim there from 5 p.m., but there's a fee. We'll think about that, honey. Oh, I almost forgot. Our school plans to take us to Children's Fairyland this weekend. Am I allowed to go? I've just received a notification from your school about the trip. Of course you can go, sweetie. Thanks, Mum! I wonder who it is. Excuse me, are you Mrs. Waters? Yes, darling. I'm looking for Rosaline. Is she home? Oh, she's right inside. Please, come in, darling. Rose, your friend's here. Would you like some biscuits, dear? It's tea time in our family. Yes, please, Mrs. Waters. Did you bake them yourself? They're delicious. Thanks, dear. What was your name, by the way? I'm Lucy, Rose's new friend. She told me about you. You live around here, right? Yes, 
My house is at the end of the street, next to the park. Oh, hi, Lucy. Rose, do you want to go to the park with me? I'd love to, Mum. Can I go with her? Of course, but remember to come home before dinner. I will, Mum. Shall we go, Lucy? Morning, Alice. Oh, hi, Jake. It's such a nice surprise to see you here. I thought there was a meeting waiting for you. Nah, the meeting is rescheduled to Thursday. Where is everybody? Beth is arranging the chairs. John's fixing the backdrop, and Joe's delivering our refreshments. So, do you need any more help? Yes. Can you adjust the lighting on stage, please? I know you're best at it. I'm on it. Hey, Alice. I'm done with the chairs. Do you need me for anything else? Sure. There's a box of puppets on the table over there. Can you help me bring it to the back of the stage? Yes, I'll do it right now. You must be hungry. What did you eat this morning? Nothing much, only a slice of bread. Lucky for you, I've brought a spare chicken sandwich. Have some, and you'll have enough energy for our show. Thanks a lot. How's everything, John? Nice to see you, Jake. I'm doing great today. I have to admit, the stage this year is incredible. Isn't it? I designed it myself. Really? Well, you sure have a talent for designing. The set looks classy and fancy, to be honest. It's all about the royals this year. We'll show the kids how beautiful Cinderella here lives in the castle after her marriage to the prince. Wow, such a great story. I'm sure the kids will love it. I'm back, everyone. Did you get anything nice? I've bought Oreos, vanilla cakes, bear gummies, and soft drinks. I plan to get some ice cream packs because the children love them, but I guess they'll melt by the time we reach the break. I think these will be all right. Everyone, the show starts in an hour. If you have any trouble with the work you're doing, please tell me. We get it, Alice. Has anyone seen Julie? By the way, I've been calling her and she hasn't picked up her phone. She's the only puppeteer that we got. Don't worry. Her house is only a couple blocks away from mine. I'll go check out what she's doing. Five minutes later, in front of Julie's house. Julie, are you home? I'm coming. Hi, Joe. I'm truly sorry I couldn't come earlier to the show. I'll be there in ten minutes. You can go back there now. Is your voice all right? It seems like you're sick. <clears throat>、uh, I'm a little under the weather today. Are you sure that you can make it to the show? I'm afraid that you're unable to perform with a raspy voice. Don't worry about me. A cup of lemon honey will do wonders for my throat. Well then, go ahead and change your clothes. I'll drive you there. Thanks, Joe. You can come inside while waiting. Hey, 
Joe, how's Julie? She's a little bit ill. She said she could deal with the puppets, but I don't think it's going to work. Is there any backup plan at the moment? Unfortunately, no. Just tell her to get here and we'll figure out a solution. All right. Oh, Julie's ready now, and I'm going to take her there. Okay. See you soon. Bye. Joe, shall we go? Your voice is so much better. See? Bunny helps. Let's go. Alice is waiting for us. Five minutes later at the show. Thank God, Julie, you're here. Are you okay? Joe told me you're not well. I'm fine, Alice, and I'm ready to perform. Your voice is a bit raspy. How about finding a person to back you up? That's a good idea, in case I lose my voice completely. Everyone, please gather around. We have an emergency. Here we are. What's going on, Alice? Julie's voice is unwell today. Is anyone able to support her with the puppet show? I think I'm capable of doing that. I can memorize things quickly. That's great, Beth. Here's the script. You'll only have more than 30 minutes to learn everything by heart. Got it, Alice. John, have you finished decorating the stage? It's totally ready for the show, Alice. Cool. The lighting looks fine, Jake. Thank you. You're welcome. I want to say that I appreciate your effort. Now can we make this show a success? Yes, we can! Good. I love your energy. Look, the kids are coming. Everyone, get to your position. Jake, could you be our receptionist? Sure, I love to welcome our adorable children. You two should go backstage. Do you think I'll make it? Sure, why not? I have faith in you. Welcome, kids. It's Children's Day today. How are you feeling today? Happy! Then, are you excited about the show? Yes! Last year, we had a hare and a tortoise. Do you know what we'll play this year? Anybody who makes a guess will receive a lollipop. Okay, Lily, what's on your mind? I think I'll see a princess. Oh, a princess, darling. Such a nice theme. Here's your lollipop. Anyone else? Peter? He'll definitely be a superman. Good guess. And what do you think, Anne? Maybe it's about the fairies. Wow, like Wonderland, right? Now, we'll reveal the stage. Are you ready? Yes! Hello, kids. I'm Cinderella. It's Cinderella! She's so beautiful in the blue dress! Look how eager the kids are. I feel so happy for them. Sometimes I wish I was a child. And then you could go join them. You're kidding, right? Julie's actually doing a great job playing that character, isn't she? Yeah. Hey, do we have to give them gifts after she's done with Chapter 3? Oh, right. I almost forgot. Let's prepare before Alice gets here.